Hi guys, welcome to tournament number 15, the next round. And this time it's uh, Stratege versus Rasta. And as far as I know, it's going to be a Nihilim versus Nihilim. And it's definitely going to be a best of three. So after this fight, the winner will uh, proceed into the semi finals uh, against uh, the Spectre. And the loser will get the first place. And then whoever wins in the next match is going to fight Wendy in the finals and the loser of the next match is going to the next round I mean is going to get the third place. So let's get this round over. Did I mention that's the Nihilum vs. Covenant? Yes I did now. Great. This Apling charge as I always do. And waiting for this battle to start. As far as I rem if I recall correctly, this is going to be on divided lands. So I'm going to start with a whip. Oh, nice equip. Well, one guy who hasn't got his equipment completely charmed. That's uh, rare in these days because it's that light into the era. Every active PvP uh, got the uh, charms, which just shows how inactive I've been in the last weeks. Should probably do more PvP in sh instead of just uh, playing the tournament. Then would also have more st the stuff to upload for you guys. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Also. It is indeed divided lands. And the whoops are spawning. The Covenant Stronghold is. Hmm. Tree for uh, Rasta's convergence apparently is blue. Is he in. Nah, he can't be in LO, is he? And. Going for the usual build, one whip then upgrade. Has proven to be the best one for me so far. There's some trouble with it when the enemy goes for the big location too early and is able to hold it. And you definitely shouldn't uh, do a second upgrade till you have secured that big location. But when you have, then you can more or less go straight to it. Of course, it all so always depends on the actual match and how it's going and stuff. So uh, he yeah, he's probably saving points up, or he got an arrow. No scouts. The one 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 build. Oh. Interesting. It's uh, due to some reason. It's kind of rare to see in a one 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 build in these days. Or should I call it the Destiny Cloud Fist? Nah, shouldn't. So, is there's no way I c and. Uh, prevent him from capturing that big location but I can still pretend to be able and now it's time to engage slowing his uh, footman while just when the proselytes get into range which then allows them to pick him off yes big mistake from here he gave up capturing that location just a second too early and there's uh, the ministers of pain doing their duty not too bad he actually managed to capture it but his army is down and I could now I'm going for another Minister, and it's kind of a standard unit. Well, I don't know what a uh, should. Well, there's the Valkyrie Seekers. 
my place it is. And continue here. This DL is oh I totally forgot to spawn my DL. Just shows how far into the battle uh, into the uh, tournament it is. Wouldn't forget to do such a thing uh, at the beginning. So there is Waika. And there are the mine plates. If he controls Waika correctly, that shouldn't pose any trouble for him. But I'm pretty sure he isn't going to control him correctly. Because it's rare to see someone to do that. Did he already? Yeah, he some. How some were wasted it already? Weird. And I really got to look out for those victory points. Because even if I can win this battle, which shouldn't be too hard, I will. Huh. Mind plates are awesome. Yeah. The main point is that he wasted his blades of justice without uh, doing much damage. Uh, so the Ezekiel was just a huge train of po train him just sort of points and the mind plate hard countered all his assault and kept his DL occupied. <laughs> well, my DL had killed uh, the remaining unit, his infantry. And yeah, wow! It's really you don't see uh, cataphracts often, even to their awesome units. This it's just that people don't know that yet. They got an awesome skill since the last rebellion, and some which gives them. Wait a second. Um, Ah, Lerox, whatever, no. gives them uh, the what is it? Mm. Yeah, Lerox, uh, him of Lerox or something like that, gives them a minus range distance aura, which also slows as far as I know. Not sure on that. Wow, longbows. He's really going for the high tier units now. Holy arrows, ah, range distance. For a second, I've thought holy arrows have been changed to increase the uh, range damage instead of the range distance. That would have been huge and insane and stuff like that. That's his DL right there. Already? Weird. And I've lost quite a big army there, but doesn't matter. Because I've still got my fortress and a weak location. And a big army. I can now snipe, yes, snipe the longbow. Sniping the longbow, <laughs> was no shock. It's not something you see that often. No, uh, but that's mainly because longbows are somehow unpopular. Don't know why, really. It's not like they're that bad units. But I guess it's the same reason why um, <laughs> mind plates aren't that popular. It's not because they're bad, just that they haven't been useful in the past. And now we've got to get there. I have to earn their place. That's double 
goes double for the what to call it cataphracts. Yeah, cataphracts have been a really useless unit before they got their buff. And something's buggy with Prefect, or at least I think it is. Or his gear is a good deal better than I've thought. Oh. Once again, forgotten to spawn the DL. Shouldn't keep on forgetting that. Could end badly one day. What are these race doing there? So you see the race. Okay, now I've got all three technical, lo uh, all two lo technical location and this Vic location. There's absolutely no way I can lose this match. And this is not one of those absolutely no way and then you lose kinds of no ways, but uh, absolutely no, absolutely, absolutely no way. And now. There, his army is down, oh, and it's a preacher, and victory!